everyone. Welcome to our conference session. We're glad to have you here. Uh, let me introduce our today's speaker. It's Yulia Sitnikova, a senior business analyst and e-commerce consultant at EPAM. And she's going to talk about product discovery for a marketplace from big idea to first after MVP sales. And before we start, a couple of organizational moments. First of all, please note that this session has been recorded and will be uploaded to YouTube after the conference. Um, and please do not hesitate to post your questions in the live chat during the presentation. Um, we will have uh, around 15 minutes uh, at the end of the session for questions and answers. And we encourage you when you post the question in the live chat, please put your name uh, so that your question participates in the competition of the best questions. Um, if your question, uh, sorry, if your question wasn't answered, uh, then don't worry, we will make sure that uh, the question, the answer will follow and uh, it will be available for you in a special uh, discussion uh, group uh, on the portal. I'll put the link uh, later on in the chat. So let's get started. Julia, I hand uh, over to you. Thanks. Hello, guys. So uh, I hope you can see my screen. <laughs> Um, so today I would like to present you uh, my project. So I was uh, a kind of lead on this project. So uh, I would like to share with my experience uh, because I think that it can be interesting for any product owner, product manager or project manager. So um, OK, so um, a few words about me. Uh, actually, uh, all my previous experience is connected with the project management in different business companies, uh, not IT. And um, that's why I can say that probably um, information I can supply today uh, will be interesting for you if you do not, do not, um, do not have um, uh, such experience on business side. Uh, so um, let's start. Um, uh, we uh, will talk today about the marketplace. Uh, it's called uh, Pochta Market. So it is the uh, Russian name and um, Russian uh, localized marketplace. Uh, actually, uh, I would like uh, to propose you uh, n not so big uh, agenda because uh, actually we had a lot of other stuff, uh, but uh, due to our uh, short time, uh, I can only highlight maybe the main points to understand uh, which product uh, we launch and what was the results uh, and share with you my experience. So uh, first of all, <clears throat> I can say that any project, any product uh, starts from the idea. So um, our idea uh, was a common decision between two partners. Uh, I was uh, uh, employee for the Auto Group Russia uh, and uh, Russian Post uh, joined uh, to the ES project with the idea uh, to create uh, for both of us marketplace um, as um, MVP and as um, test. Uh, uh, so, so only only with uh, one merchant. Uh, one merchant mean, means uh, Auto Group Russia. And in case of success, uh, Russian Post um, uh, would like to add new uh, merchants uh, to the marketplace and um, increase um, their uh, sales um, covering and so on. But um, I would like today uh, to describe you the launch of MVP uh, created by uh, only two companies. We as Auto Group Russia as merchant, single merchant and uh, Russian Post as the uh, um, owner of the marketplace. Uh, so um, uh, I would like uh, to propose you my product vision because actually we uh, did not um, think about this project like about the product uh, five years ago in 2015. Uh, 
I think that nobody in Russia knows about the uh, product management and use product management, but uh, any uh, creating um, project, product, uh, software or something um, was like a, a product management work. So uh, product vision for the marketplace, um, uh, I can say um, to create the marketplace push to market uh, presented by online and offline channels, it is important because uh, I hope if you know uh, what is it marketplace, now you can see only online marketplaces, not offline. Uh, also, um, this marketplace uh, should sell the FMCG products uh, with focus on Russian producers uh, because as you know, uh, on our current marketplaces in our days, uh, we have a lot of Chinese products uh, without, without any focusing on any producers on any country. Uh, and the uh, third point uh, from product vision to the deliver uh, a possibility to deliver the parcels to any Russian territory. It is uh, important because uh, uh, maybe you know the Korea um, uh, cannot be available in some parts of the Russia, for example, uh, at uh, far north. But uh, due to um, Russian post possibilities, uh, this opportunity uh, will uh, include it uh, in the, our product vision and in our conception. Um, what is the... Uh, excuse me, uh, yep. before, before we proceed, can you please uh, close uh, the Teams window that is in the right corner? Yes. Thank yep. you. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, about the big idea and uh, target uh, proposal to the market. So uh, we uh, discussed with Russian Post um, uh, how marketplace uh, can look like. So actually, uh, we decided um, to propose to the consumers uh, two channels for ordering the goods. Uh, it should be marketpochta.ru, it is the uh, e-commerce platform, and the printed catalog. So the catalog with the uh, top sellers products, uh, which can be ordered uh, by any uh, customer. So uh, what is the uh, marketplace business model? So um, it is the model when, for example, owner of marketplace, in our case, uh, it was a Russian post, um, um, gather, uh, gathers uh, on the marketplace, um, uh, offline or online channel, does not matter, uh, different merchants. Who is merchants? Merchants um, can be suppliers and producers of different uh, goods. So it can be FMCG or uh, suppliers uh, for, for some services and so on. And in our case, uh, we tested this conception with the uh, Auto Group Russia uh, as first and single, single per, uh, merchant uh, for the uh, launch of the product. Um, what was supplied uh, by Auto Group Russia? So you can see maybe on the screen uh, different uh, household goods, um, uh, some food, and so on. So um, it was not some specific, but uh, we have the specific, and I will tell you about it later. Uh, so uh, any consumer um, can order the product um, by the uh, uh, marketplace online or using the printed catalog finding in the uh, uh, postal uh, box or or uh, in, in the retail and so on uh, and um, after that uh, all the data about the orders um, comes to the uh, merchant center um, ERP system and merchant um, should supply these products to the uh, consumers. So in this case, um, marketplace um, um, is a kind of lawyer uh, between the uh, consumers and merchants. Um, so I, I would like to highlight some key benefits uh, for uh, each um, side. For example, for Russian Post, as well as for any uh, um, um, for any marketplace uh, owner, uh, first of all, of course, it is the uh, um, possibility to earn more money because uh, uh, owner of the marketplace um, earns uh, get uh, get uh, get the uh, percent uh, the, the percentage um, from the um, uh, say, uh, sale uh, from from the sold products. 
and um, they are responsible for promoting uh, and distribution, for example, catalogs. But uh, they can get they can get um, the uh, um, fee, uh, like a, uh, um, a different uh, um, a way uh, to to to, <clears throat> to increase their contribution. Also, um, for the so uh, you can see here Russian post. So it's ex actually Auto Group Russia. So for Auto, for Auto Group Russia, um, as well as for any merchant um, money, it is also the case, of course. But for example, for Auto Group Russia, uh, we uh, found that the main benefits for us will be the client base. So in case of Russian Post, of course, they uh, also got uh, the uh, customer base uh, after the selling the products. But uh, for Russian Post, uh, it was not uh, so beneficial uh, in comparison with the uh, Auto Group Russia. Um, the third benefit uh, for both of us, um, it is uh, uh, orders. Uh, for Russian Post, uh, as you know, Russian Post is a company uh, which deliver uh, the uh, uh, goods or orders from different uh, e-commerce companies and not only e-commerce. And um, uh, they um, earn money uh, on the uh, tariffs, uh, postal tariffs. So in case of the increasing sales uh, from the merchant, of course, they uh, also uh, get uh, some um, some earnings uh, from the um, uh, parcels, from the selling parcels. In case of the Auto Group Russia, uh, of course, um, we would like to get more orders uh, because in this case uh, we can show to our CEO and investors uh, uh, more net sales. So, um, a few words about the uh, uh, each company, so uh, maybe you know uh, Russian Post, uh, the main logistic company in Russia, uh, with uh, I think I can say widest uh, points uh, for delivery, parcels and uh, mailings. And Russian Post uh, has uh, 24,000 um, uh, postal offices um, around the, uh, the Russia and um, uh, 350 uh, uh, K employees. Uh, it is important because uh, each employee uh, can promote uh, the marketplace. So, of course, we used uh, this opportunity when uh, started with Russian Post also. Auto Group Russia, uh, known uh, in um, in the world, like an auto group uh, a comp company based in uh, um, Frankfurt. Uh, uh, not Frankfurt in Germany. So um, it has um, a huge history of the uh, distance uh, sales and now uh, Otto Group um, known as uh, the one of the leaders in European uh, distance uh, sales and e-commerce. So Otto Group Russia was the uh, Russian branch for this company with own um, um, brands. Um, so you can see also on the screen uh, selling different products from fashion and household and uh, also Auto Group Russia um, uh, owned uh, the uh, big um, uh, logistic center in, in Tver. Um, so uh, we can, as Auto Group Russia, we can uh, support any e-commerce project because uh, we have own expertise, we have uh, the uh, good contracts with suppliers because of a different uh, uh, quantity of the um, brands uh, and we have our own logistics center. So uh, that's why I think that uh, Russian Post uh, uh, requested us uh, to start uh, the project, uh, maybe to check if, if it can be successful with Auto Group. So, uh, if this project can be success, successful with uh, any others after we will test it with the Auto Group Russia. Um, uh, so what uh, we needed to do, uh, we discussed with the CEOs of the companies, uh, Russian Post and um, um, Auto Group Russia, that uh, we divide uh, how the process of the discovery into into three parts. So first part it is the uh, part of the um, uh, 
uh, around the big idea. So we needed to analyze uh, our processes. Mm. We needed uh, to create the business conception, the product vision, and um, do uh, all preparations uh, for this business. Um, also, we committed that uh, we would like to launch the project in October, so in three months. Uh, and uh, we uh, will divide the responsibility between the Russian Post and Auto Group Russia uh, for the platform as uh, online channel and uh, catalog offline channel. So Auto Group Russia uh, was responsible for the catalogs, uh, for the printing, for the assortment, for the contracts uh, with the suppliers and producers and so on, for the pricing. And um, uh, Russian Post was responsible for the um, uh, platform uh, implementation, so e-commerce platform implementation. Um, uh, actually, also we committed that uh, we can say that a product like a marketplace uh, is good and we would like to conti continue only after the first sales because um, uh, on that time, uh, we did not estimate that, for example, we discover the business processes, we launch the MVP, uh, and uh, so after MVP, we, we have 100% uh, uh, submissions that all is okay and we can move. So um, in five years ago, uh, we uh, thought that it is not right way and we need uh, to get the first sales. So uh, our CEOs uh, committed that um, they uh, give me and our teams, uh, R Russian Post and Auto Group Russia, three months for sales uh, after launch uh, the product, uh, after launch the channels. And in January, uh, we will meet, uh, analyze what we have and decide um, if we want to continue with this product. So um, let's start from the big idea. Uh, I would like maybe to highlight you some uh, main ideas uh, which um, should help uh, should help us um, uh, in um, differentiation between the uh, competitors. So um, first of all, I already told about it. We divided um, our project product into two channels. Uh, it was not usual uh, even on that time because um, all our com competitors uh, were presented um, only in uh, online channels. Uh, we will talk about it later. Uh, so we uh, thought that we can test and print uh, 10 millions of catalogs uh, for the um, uh, testing offline channel. So why uh, 10 millions? Uh, so if you will calculate the <laughs> amount, uh, for order of this printing. So it, it is not so small, but uh, we thought that if, for example, we will fail, uh, we can use uh, these uh, catalogs, these ideas uh, for our uh, current businesses. Because uh, as I already told you, uh, Auto Group Russia had a lot of different uh, businesses. So uh, we can uh, rethink and, for example, put the catalogs in the parcels for Bond Pre, Quelle, and uh, other uh, companies in group. Um, uh, delivery. So we thought that uh, it is an um, advantage for us because actually uh, on that time, uh, courier um, delivery uh, was not so popular and was uh, was not cheap uh, it doesn't cheap now but five years ago it was the like luxury delivery and we thought that if we can use the uh, postal offices for russian post uh, we can deliver our products maybe uh, not in short time, but uh, we can deliver uh, our products from the marketplace uh, to any point of the uh, Russian territory. Um, in fact, what was in fact after the launch and first uh, uh, three months of sales? So uh, we analyzed that uh, in case of channels, 95% uh, of our sales uh, was uh, were gathered um, uh, from the uh, catalogs. Um, I, I cannot say that it was uh, good or not good. Uh, we just uh, try to analyze what we have. So for the uh, Auto Group Russia, it was a good point. It means uh, that, uh, for example, 
we can use this client's base probably for our um, uh, in other brands. So, uh, so uh, it seems that uh, our data, our customer bases are pretty similar. That's why uh, the clients of the marketplace order it uh, first of all by offline catalog. Uh, for Russian Post, it was not maybe so good uh, because uh, they presented uh, to the CEO of the Russian Post that they uh, develop they develop um, uh, online channel. Uh, but anyway, it is the, it is the fact. About the delivery, uh, we also got the good results because uh, we uh, calculated with the uh, data analysts that uh, the most um, um, the uh, orders with the highest AUV, so average order value, um, from, uh, are from the uh, Siberia, Far East, uh, Ural. So for the um, for the far region and um, it was a good point because in this case we approved our idea that uh, uh, marketplace can be uh, uh, interested uh, for the uh, uh, for the some um, territories of Russia where they, they they cannot find any courier delivery and so on um, assortment so we also uh, discuss that uh, we can uh, divide the assortment between the online and offline channel. Uh, what is the reason? Uh, for offline channel, we uh, used uh, uh, 24 pages catalogs. It means that uh, you, uh, your assortment um, uh, gets, uh, uh, gets uh, the limitation uh, uh, on pages. And in this case, uh, we decided uh, to sell uh, via catalog only top sellers. Uh, about the online, so we uh, we can we could uh, use uh, any goods, test any any new goods, any new suppliers. Uh, so um, in this case, uh, we we saw uh, uh, this flow. So for example, we test some new goods in the online channel on the website, and after that, put the top sellers to the uh, paper catalog. Uh, also, we found out that uh, we have the best product uh, called uh, personalized letter. Uh, so, as we start in October, uh, you know, we have the New Year, uh, New Year holiday, and uh, we started to print the personalized letters from the Dietmaros. And um, it, um, they, uh, they have um, so cheap price. But uh, even in this case, uh, we can um, we we can promote our marketplace via this product. So product is cheap, uh, product is useful and nice, and uh, uh, maybe uh, buying this product, uh, some customers will continue uh, uh, buy uh, buy uh, on the uh, marketplace. So um, also we decided that we need some social. Uh, point uh, for the media and for the CEO of the Russian Post. Uh, so, um, uh, CEO of the Russian Post proposed us uh, to try to sell uh, the Russian goods. Uh, I mean the uh, goods from the Russian farmers and producers, uh, producers of honey, different spices, teas and so on. Uh, actually, as a result, we analyzed uh, the um, sales results and uh, understood that um, our customers um, um, uh, buy actually uh, goods, maybe categories, and uh, they they not prefer uh, uh, only Russian uh, goods or only Chinese and so on. It does not matter for them. Uh, also, uh, after analyzing the uh, personalized letters um, sales, we understood, uh, for example, in the holiday months, for example, in December, the share of the sales of the personalized letters uh, was about the 80%. So it is a huge uh, percent uh, uh, for the, I don't know, any e-commerce when, for example, you cheap, uh, you, you sell 80% uh, uh, of cheap products. Uh, so, and sometimes it is dangerous because after that we did not understand. So uh, it is the uh, 
uh, our new way to sale. And in this in this case, why why we need uh, uh, to spend budget on the uh, marketplace development if uh, eighty percent of the customers uh, uh, order only personalized letters uh, with cost about the uh, two hundred rubles. So uh, it was the case, but uh, we needed to analyze it also. Um, about the uh, market research, actually we did uh, not maybe so deep market research, but uh, on that time five years ago, we um, understood that we have maybe two uh, direct uh, competitors. So there were Wikimart, so Wikimart actually I can say the first Russian marketplace. Um, uh, all, uh, you know, it, it was uh, closed actually in uh, 2016, but anyway, uh, this idea was pretty fresh for Russian market and uh, after the Wikimart, uh, some businessmen and, uh, businessmen and um, investors um, started uh, to look um, um, to this um, to this channel, to this uh, way uh, to sell the products like a marketplace. Um, uh, I can see that the most important uh, competitor, dear competitor we had uh, was the, uh, and now <laughs> he, uh, it is uh, AliExpress. Uh, actually, Russian Post uh, um, known about the uh, volume of the parcels uh, ordered by the clients uh, of Ali AliExpress and uh, CEO of the Russian Post uh, thought that maybe uh, one day uh, Pochta Market uh, can replace AliExpress in Russia. Um, so as we can see, um, uh, AliExpress is a leader <laughs> anyway, uh, even after five years, but uh, five years ago we, we had some thoughts about it. About the uh, market size, uh, actually I can show you the average response rate, uh, it is the conversion um, and um, average quantity of active users for different e-commerce platforms, not only marketplaces, marketplaces but uh, for the e-commerce uh, webshops. Uh, so uh, we uh, could calculate the uh, market size um, approximately uh, based on these figures and um, um, uh, and think that if, if you will be successful, uh, it will be a good, um, it will be a good um, possibility uh, to increase uh, sales both for the uh, Russian Post and for the Auto Group Russia because uh, market was not small uh, even in, the, in that time and um, it was a good uh, for all of us. Um, about the customer development, so actually we um, did not do any customer development, but of course we discussed with our uh, um, data um, analytics and uh, uh, team and uh, uh, proposed to the Russian Post our vision about the target audience. So uh, we divided the target audience uh, into uh, three groups. So uh, I, I can uh, describe uh, each group. So first group was um, uh, visitors of postal offices because we uh, discussed with the Russian Post uh, to distribute uh, um, 10 millions of catalogs uh, to the postal offices around the Russia. And we thought that uh, the first, um, uh, not end users, but uh, first consumers uh, will be the uh, people um, uh, who uh, come to the post offices uh, to order some uh, postal services or uh, uh, in case uh, somebody uh, wants to get uh, the parcels from another e-commerce platform and so on. So uh, we thought that uh, it is a good start because we do not need um, uh, to spend budget on any promotion in this case. We can on only um, teach uh, the postal offices employees uh, to propose uh, the new service marketplace, uh, Pochta Market. So um, we got the results uh, which were <laughs> strange first of all because we understood that uh, about 25% uh, of the active users buying our products during the first quarter uh, 
were the uh, employees uh, of the Russian post. On the other hand, it is good because, for example, if you as consultant buy something, uh, you can uh, propose uh, and sell this product uh, to your clients. But in our ca case, it was a kind of um, risk because uh, in the first quart uh, quarter uh, of the next year, uh, we got uh, about 40% uh, 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 of the returns. And um, after some analysis, uh, we found out with the Russian Post team that uh, employees uh, got the um, uh, ask from the managers, uh, Russian Post managers, um, uh, to, to buy the products, uh, to achieve the uh, plan figures. <laughs> and of course, after that, after the uh, months, um, uh, finished, uh, they return uh, the half of the products they bought. So uh, we were surprised, uh, but um, it was a good point uh, to understand uh, which products we need to put into the catalog and to put uh, on the marketplace because uh, actually the employers uh, so we have we had um, uh, 350 case k uh, of employers so for us uh, it was a good um, also target group for selling our products and we needed uh, to understand uh, their interests uh, maybe to, to sell in other kind of products so it was a good uh, point uh, after the selling period. period. Uh, also about the target audience, if we will continue, um, we um, um, planned uh, Group B. Um, I mean, um, so we understood that um, Russian Post um, has own uh, Pochta.ru uh, website uh, provided different services of Russian Post and uh, we can put there, for example, banner or some promotion and link uh, on the Pochta market. And we thought that uh, without any advertising and targeting, it can work, but it did not work. Uh, actually, we got only 5% uh, of the users buying online and uh, we understood that okay if uh, the russian post would like um, to increase the online sales uh, we need to discuss uh, the budget for the promotion so it is the only way in this case um, and the uh, third group uh, was the uh, buyers uh, auto group russia so actually we sent the catalogs to the uh, Quelly and nadom uh, buyers, so to the brands of the Auto Group Russia, and um, we uh, would like to get maybe some results um, based on this uh, catalog, so based on the sales uh, for these catalogs, uh, and um, results was not so good from one side because we understood that 90% uh, of users um, uh, who um, who buy um, uh, by the catalogs by uh, auto group Russia catalogs uh, actually um, um, did did not cross with the um, uh, active users uh, uh, for uh, auto group Russia. So um, we can say that um, okay, we got ninety percent of the newcomers and new uh, uh, users, active users. But uh, we do not know uh, nothing about these users. And it means that if we would like, for example, to use this uh, base, customer base, uh, we need to do a lot of tests because uh, we cannot send them the same catalogs, uh, for example, query catalogs or NADOM, and be sure that uh, we, will, we will get uh, the good response rate results. Um, actually, uh, um, uh, I can say that if uh, if uh, you need uh, maybe to start any project, uh, you need to do the customer development because uh, actually we had all the uh, possibilities uh, to do the customer development, but probably five years ago we did not think about it. So uh, we could uh, analyze the active users of Russian Post and to understand the frequency of their um, um, 
uh, or, or frequency uh, uh, of sending uh, parcels, uh, services and shops they used, uh, and so on. Uh, also, uh, we uh, could analyze uh, the employers of Russian Post because uh, 350 cases of employers to the huge customer base with good uh, loyalty to the Russian Post. So we needed to think uh, uh, before the uh, uh, put the products to the catalogs uh, what, what they need. Uh, what they might need. Uh, also, um, I, I would say that uh, we could analyze the uh, auto group Russia active users uh, by the put, putting uh, the catalogs in their parcels uh, before they start the project because uh, we send every month um, uh, thousands of the parcels to different brands, Quali, Bon Pre, Auto and so on. And we could uh, check. Uh, uh, so um, do, um, so um, is it OK for them, um, I don't know, to buy the uh, our goods proposed in the marketplace or not? So um, we can test it uh, before they launch the product and uh, um, understanding um, which products we need to add to the catalogs. Um, also, uh, what I did as a project lead, uh, uh, I created the business model. So uh, we already used this business model for the other business units uh, like Auto, Quali uh, and uh, other catalogs. Uh, so with some, of course, uh, specific, but um, uh, anyway, the main um, formulas uh, were the same. Uh, for any business unit. And um, I would like maybe to propose you some main formulas um, for creation of the business model, for calculation PNL. Uh, PNL means uh, contribution profit uh, before the taxes. Um, to understand um, um, how many you can earn or lose <laughs> during the project. Uh, because, of course, in case of the uh, uh, new project, um, you need to calculate uh, probably minus uh, you will receive, uh, not plus. So plus and uh, zero contribution to their uh, kind of uh, win in case of the new project. Um, actually, we have three main formulas. Uh, first formula to the uh, demand minus returns and domains. Uh, demand means uh, the uh, orders uh, receiving from the end users in rubles, uh, returns you understand it, uh, omits it to the uh, all goods uh, which um, uh, were deleted from the orders by different reasons. Um, then you should uh, calculate net sales, um, uh, sorry, uh, gross profit. Uh, gross profit uh, to the, your margin on goods. And it can be cal calculated uh, by the uh, uh, from the net sales minus net cost of sales. Uh, net sales to the uh, uh, all sending parcels. So all the order orders you uh, send to the uh, consumers uh, mi minus the net cost of sales. So net cost of sales uh, uh, means uh, the um, purchasing cost of the goods uh, you send to the users. Uh, and uh, the third point, the main, I think, formula is the uh, contribution profit. Uh, it can be calculated as uh, your gross profit on goods minus different costs. So in our case, we had advertising costs, distribution, I mean, delivery costs and operation costs uh, for the warehouse and so on. Uh, but uh, um, in, in any project, it can be different. So, but anyway, uh, you need to minus uh, from the gross profit uh, all your costs, uh, uh, which uh, support uh, the uh, selling the products to the customers. Um, in our case, contribution profit was the main point for the CEOs to understand that uh, we can continue with the project. So I know that, uh, for example, now uh, when you create new project, uh, for, for example, I don't know, in California. <laughs> so uh, the main point um, 
it is the scalability of the project, it is the uh, growth of the uh, customer base. But uh, in our, in my case, uh, my target as project lead, as product manager, was the contribution. So um, I was requested uh, uh, to not down. Uh, down the zero level so we need uh, to be on zero level contribution or to own something so it was not uh, simple but uh, actually i can say that we did it and here you can see uh, our results after the uh, first quarter sales so you can see that uh, we um, had the lower demand and net sales because um, uh, selling of the goods, uh, not, not personalized letters, but goods, uh, was um, uh, decreased by the, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, long distance uh, between the uh, our warehouse and uh, customers, and some of the uh, consumers uh, thought that, okay, they need the goods uh, before the new year, but uh, they do not have uh, time and so on. So we have a lot of different uh, points why, uh, our demand and net sales was uh, lower than planned. But the main point was the gross profit and the contribution because uh, gross profit for the goods, I mean, uh, uh, FMCG goods was in plan and the uh, gross profit for the letters, uh, which is 80% uh, of the sales was 20% uh, higher. And uh, this uh, can help us uh, to increase the contribution uh, more than uh, in, in two times. And um, it was a perfect result uh, because, uh, uh, as you can see, for example, I planned about 10, 10 millions and we will get uh, 25 million. So figures are not real, but just to understand. And uh, of course, after these results, uh, our CS. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thought that uh, okay, business model is pretty good, so we uh, we would like to continue, and you can develop uh, another phases for this product. Um, also, uh, we had some KPIs, uh, maybe to the uh, question for the additional discussion, because. Um, uh, because the figures uh, for the demand and net sales consist of the different KPIs. What I mean under the KPI? So it is your uh, average order value, it is your, your gross margin, it is the response rate, it is the return rate, it is the uh, percent for the prepayment orders, percent for the um, uh, cost on delivery orders. So all these points um, should be included into your uh, uh, net sales uh, it, into your costs and uh, you can manage it actually. For example, if you need uh, to raise the uh, average order value, uh, you can uh, put in the catalog uh, more expensive uh, uh, goods, but, uh, but top sellers, I don't know, uh, some from the gadgets or electronics. And in this case, you will receive the same quantity of the orders, but with a higher uh, average order value. Or for example, you would like, uh, I don't know, uh, to decrease uh, the quantity of the calls uh, to the contact centers. You, you can uh, discuss with the CRM teams uh, how to update the scripts. And in this case, uh, for example, you can pay two times uh, less uh, than previously only because of the good scripts uh, for the customers. Uh, so. Um, just to your understanding, uh, as a product manager, uh, you can you can manage uh, these KPIs, and uh, they always uh, have influence on the final result as contribution. Um, about the product launch, so uh, I already told you that we have two channels, and of course, uh, the date of launch for the two channels uh, was different. Uh, for example, for offline catalogs. We needed to distribute them uh, into the uh, 42 uh, thousands of the postal offices around the Russia. And it, it took, uh, I can say, about the one month. And we launched actually an uh, offline channel finally uh, only in the end of the November. Uh, that's why I told you about the uh, customers who, um, if, uh, who, um, uh, no, 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 did not sure that they can get the presence before the new year. Uh, about the online channel, of course, it, it was 
easier because <laughs> you need only to uh, develop the uh, marketplace as e-commerce platform and uh, open it to internet. So in case of uh, online channel, we uh, launched uh, the marketplace uh, in October uh, as was confirmed with the uh, uh, CEOs and uh, Russian Post. Um, actually, it is the last slide. So what was done? Uh, during this journey, uh, which key results uh, we uh, got. Uh, so first of all, uh, sales per period about uh, three months. Uh, overall uh, shown that the business model works. So we uh, could see the contribution and uh, sales uh, was agreed uh, that uh, it is a not bad idea. So we got some submissions uh, for fit to market and we can continue with this project. Uh, also, um, it was a good project for the uh, both companies uh, uh, because um, a project was supported in media, in uh, newspapers, and even uh, Minister of, Co of Communications um, uh, told about this project in his Twitter. So uh, nobody from us asked he asked him asked him uh, about it, but uh, he did. Uh, also. Uh, every company uh, got some benefits. For example, Auto Group Russia uh, recruited uh, clients base, uh, new, new clients base uh, with quantity about uh, 240,000 uh, uh, new customers. Uh, of course, we uh, got additional turnover in four quarter and maybe um, if somebody from you is from business, you know that most of all companies um, your money uh, and and always focus on the fourth quarter, like uh, last quarter of, of the year, to achieve the budget figures. Uh, also, we uh, uh, got additional profit, and it was higher than we expected. Uh, for the Russian post side, from the Russian post side, they um, uh, could test the new assortment because, of course, they would like to add to the marketplace new merchants, not only the uh, Auto Group Russia, and they could test different uh, assortment categories. Of course, uh, as a owner of the marketplace, uh, they got uh, agency fee. And also, of course, they uh, earned uh, on postal tariffs because um, uh, because we sent uh, a lot of uh, orders, you can see in point five, so they earned on the tariffs. Uh, so um, the final po point may be also important for the any new product, it is the quantity of orders. So we got uh, about 300 uh, case of orders during three months. And um, I say that I can say that it is the achievement uh, uh, for, for, for any project, not only for new project, but for new product, it is a uh, very good uh, point to continue. So um, I can say that that's it from my side. Uh, uh, anyway, I would like also guys to share with you uh, Keyword, <laughs> it is uh, Feasibility, uh, who is participating in the uh, puzzle game. So you can see it on the screen and um, if you would like to ask me, so please do it now. Thank you. Thank you, Julia, for the great presentation. Um, we have uh, one question in the chat. Let me read it to you. Uh, did the client promote somehow online shopping to make the customers use website? No. If, or, if, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Can you finish? laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, somehow online shopping uh, to make the customers use websites in, instead of the catalog shopping. Uh, for example, it could be coupons, discount uh, codes for online shopping in the printed catalogs. Can you please uh, turn turn down the uh, your your screen? <laughs> I mean, um, we we can see your screen still. Um, can you okay. please turn it up? Yeah. Thanks. 
ac actually, uh, in the first quarter, so um, uh, Russian Post uh, didn't uh, use any promotions. But after that, uh, for the first, uh, for the second and third quarter, yes, they used. But uh, the results was was not so good because. Um, um, any uh, any discounts uh, uh, could be um, f found in the catalog and on the website. So additional um, some hundreds of the rubles in the coupons um, was not a point to to rise the uh, to rise the sales. So uh, yes, we tested after after the first sales, but it does not work. In case of online sales, uh, we discussed with them that we need the budget uh, for targeting and for pushing information about this project, uh, maybe in more media because uh, Russian Post uh, has a lot of uh, media partners, but they also thought that, OK, you, maybe we can do it later. So that is that was uh, their decision, but due to our contract, uh, these questions uh, should be covered by the Russian Post, not by the Auto Group Russia. I see. Thanks, uh, dear participants. Um, I think it's your last chance to uh, um, to ask your questions, if any. Um, and while we're waiting. Um, one question from my side as well. You mentioned uh, that you had the role of product lead during this discovery, um, and you are a business analyst, as we know. Uh, does it mean that BA can be a product lead, uh, or those roles are really different? Mm, actually, I can say that a BA to the associate product lead. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah. So from my experience, actually, I was maybe first of all a project lead, uh, and only after five years I investigated that it was a product role as well. But as as we can compare uh, the business analyst, uh, I don't know the level, uh, but uh, any average business analyst and project lead for for this type of project, of course, so you will need uh, maybe more project uh, management skills and uh, marketing skills because before this project I was a business unit head for three years in marketing department so uh, mm -hmm. I could combine my project management skills and marketing skills so that's it product manager. <laughs> All right we have new questions. Um, what about the current state of the sales in Pochta market? The product was closed or not? Uh, actually, uh, I can see that uh, product and project uh, exists uh, up to date and uh, I can say, so uh, I just uh, tried to investigate it before this meeting, that uh, they use the offline catalog as main channel as well. So they, uh, they uh, do not want uh, to spend the budget on the online promotion and that's why their uh, marketplace is pretty poor um, in comparison with uh, the competitors. But uh, anyway, I can see uh, the link on the um, Pochita market and I can see the catalogs in the postal offices up to date. So I can say that they continue this product. This uh, project uh, from the auto group perspective, we um, um, finished with the project like a, a merchant. Uh, in two years uh, after the start. So because of some assumptions, strategies on the auto group Russia side. All right, uh, another question. What was an ecosystem of Ecom platform? Was it ERP, CRM or something else? <clears throat> yeah, so uh, about the marketplace. So um, as I already told, um, the uh, platform was developed uh, based uh, was developed by the additional team on uh, Russian post site and uh, every uh, uh, each merchant uh, should integrate his uh, ERP systems uh, to this marketplace so marketplace uh, based uh, is based on the Linux application and uh, I can say that uh, any uh, um, any ERP system as well as 1S and so on uh, can be integrated with this. So it is uh, pr pretty simple. And uh, Auto Group Russia, uh, of course, integrated our ERP system based on SAP, uh, SAP for HANA. 
and um, all our uh, IT tasks <laughs> in my project was connected only with the uh, data model and different integrations. So, for example, we um, um, during last month's um, of the partnership we a uh, partnership we started uh, to integrate with the um uh, pochta bank so uh, acquire uh, for the uh, russian post uh, which was the first uh, uh, bank uh, bank uh, for this uh, marketplace because of pochta <laughs> all right next question uh, how you got in for uh, for your analysis what tools did you use uh so um, we got all information from two sources. F first source, uh, it is the information from um, department and companies from the auto group Russia, because uh, as a project lead, uh, I needed to gather the best experience about the assortment, about the, um, uh, I don't know, some financial uh, possibilities of our company, about the how our warehouse works, because uh, we needed to, to update some business processes. Uh, also, I needed to, as project lead uh, to dig deeper in the uh, our ERP system, Sigma. Uh, as, as well, uh, because Sigma supported the CRM part of the project. So uh, actually, um, um, maybe I spent about the one or two months on discovery uh, process for my own company, because uh, I was responsible before only for marketing, <laughs> how, how to sell the products. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and in this case, I needed to dig deeper in the details of the business. Uh, from the Russian Post perspective, they provided us with the information about the clients, but it was pretty poor. Uh, our uh, anal data analysts uh, tried uh, maybe to investigate it because we got uh, um, a huge, a huge quantity of data about the users and uh, it was difficult uh, to understand something. So I can say that uh, the analysis on the Russian post site was not so good. Uh, because of the lost maybe some information between the people because of a huge company with different departments. So, All right, uh, we have two minutes left be before ra wrap up. Uh, two questions left, maybe we will be able to cover them both, but let's see. Uh, did you investigate the reasons of high popularity of personal letters? Maybe you introduced any new similar goods? Uh, yeah, so uh, actually five years ago, it was new. <laughs> it was new product on the Russian market. Uh, and uh, how how we found this idea? So Auto Group Russia uh, uh, printed uh, catalogs for different brands. And of course, in catalogs, we uh, um, uh, usually used uh, personalization. For example, dear Yulia, please uh, buy this beautiful shirt uh, on this month only with this personalized discount. And actually, our um, a logistics center already was prepared for the personalization and the one what uh, we needed uh, to print the beautiful postcards and uh, get the inform information, uh, personal information from the uh, consumers and then print them. So actually, uh, of course, we um, um, of course, we knew that this project already used by some small companies, so it was not our idea actually, but uh, uh, we could uh, uh, do this work good because of our experience and possibilities. Um, so I can say that it was also a kind of test. So first of all, idea, why not? Then test and they uh, huge sales. We did not estimate them. Thank you, Julia. Um, actually, we don't have um, much time left, so it will be that for today. Thank you very much that you came and for your interesting questions. Uh, you'll be able to find the link on the discussion group dedicated to this talk on the page that I've sent in the chat. Thank you Thank and you have a nice uh, rest of your day. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.